had longer legs, it'd be easier. What? If you had longer legs, it'd be easier. morning um thought i'd do a little intro monologue for abby she's trying to keep current and she wants to stay uh with it on the youtube channel and try to do something almost every day so we're i'm, I'm trying to help her out on that and uh jocelyn's here doing chores at the barn uh she's doing her horse and, and mule chores and uh the cows look good so i'm done i'm waiting for her and while i'm waiting i'm catching up on some I don't know, text messages and, and voicemails and stuff. And I needed to do some calling this morning. And I'm catching up on some of that stuff here. Uh, sometimes I have signal here. Sometimes I don't. We're going to, well, first off, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. If you would, share it. If a video is good, um, I usually share it on my Facebook. I hope maybe you can share it on your Facebook or something. And we appreciate viewers. We appreciate everybody that tunes in. Even if you're some type of psycho crazy lady. Uh, just stalking us. We appreciate you stalkers too. So um, feel free to stalk. <laughs> and we, oh, I, so whoever, um, if you're just seeing what's happening in Iowa, I don't know where you're at. Maybe you're just seeing what's happening in Central. Maybe you're a, a insecure hobby farmer and you're just on YouTube trying to see how uh, farmers in Iowa do it. And uh, we're pretty secure in how we do things. So if you're a uh, hobby farmer and getting some tips that's good whatever you are so we appreciate it our friends and got people on the east coast and already gave uh, judy james a shout out and all so um we appreciate all our viewers thank you um uh, we're gonna do some crop scouting today we are uh all we've got left is spraying beans a second time and uh i might have said it already but all the all the you know good farmers they're just waiting on on beans a second time so crop prices are low. I don't know if we'd be doing any fungicide and stuff, but uh, we're going to do some crop scouting today. Uh, God gave us some ground here that was, uh, and we we're very thankful for it and uh, give him the glory for it. But it was very poorly managed. I mean, just, just, you almost have to laugh at how bad it was managed. And uh, after uh, a while, we finally gotten it where it's in good production. Uh, weeds under control, fertility's back up and and uh, when ground is not farmed very well, it's hard to get it back in good shape. And we've finally got it back in good shape, and it has the potential. It's, it's ha it has had the best um, crop on it the last couple of years it's ever had. And I think we're going to have, uh, we, we're set. If, if God doesn't send us uh, natural disasters, um, we're set to, to do an, another record-breaking year for this ground. Uh, this ground's never seen a crop with this much potential ever in its entire history i don't think since the garden of eden anyways this ground hasn't seen the potential that it has right now so um finally it's it's getting the attention and and management it deserves and we're going to scout that and try to keep the weeds out of it weeds might be tough on beans this year so we're going to see what we can do and um hang on a second here okay um uh, got the skid loader out yesterday worked on that might uh we need to pick cherries sometime pretty soon and uh do that um we sold the most sweet corn in the in our county last year uh, by far so we hope to do that again we're going to expand into some tomatoes maybe so we're going to check the secret tomato patch and we've got tomatoes on there pretty good starting to ripen and maybe cut into some of the tomato market maybe by fourth of july have some ripe tomatoes um so we're gonna possibly do that uh i guess what kind of whatever we feel like um could always hold we could wholesale sweet corn or tomatoes or do stuff but we'll see what happens with kind of what we feel like um do it for the girls so we might work on some tomatoes uh or check the tomato patch and see um we got some more garden produce but we're gonna pick cherries you have to do that when they get ready um and do that we fed the catfish last night still a lot of fish in the pond catfish in the pond's doing real good and um i think that's it um, mini sermon, give you a little mini sermon here. Uh, hang on, check a text. Okay. Um, mini sermon for the day. If you're a Christian, 
uh, just remember sometimes uh, it takes a little undeserved suffering uh, when you're a Christian and you don't deserve it and you just kind of have to put up with it. But remember Christ, all of Christ's suffering was undeserved. And we've, we're all sinners and really in many ways our, deserve, our, our suffering is all deserved. Um, we can't say it's truly undeserved suffering, but um, you never know what might come of your so-called undeserved suffering. Sometimes it's easy to dominate the bullies in your life. And just because you can, don't mean you should type of a deal. And I've found that it's pretty easy to beat the, you know, the cowardly bullies in life. And it's not quite as fulfilling as you might think sometimes to uh, just humiliate them. But um, lots of times those cowardly bullies are just nothing but crybabies. It's just like you see in TV, the ones that are most uh, aggressively bullying. They're the ones that are most insecure and they're the biggest crybabies. And sometimes it just glorifies God. And I know you don't always hear this. Glorifies God most if you just let them be bullies. And um, you don't have to, I mean, stand up for yourself to a certain uh, uh, degree. And, and I'm not perfect. And I've never been perfect. And um, I have found it easy to handle bullies. But just because I can don't mean I should. And uh, if it's just insulting and pride, you let it go. Sometimes it's most glorifying to God just to let it go. So, um, I, I actually pity people like that more than I despise them. Um, sometimes they're insulting. And like I say, sometimes in my life I haven't always let it go like I should. But, you know, when you think about it, sometimes they don't have a lot to live for. And, and that's kind of... I mean, when you start realizing that, you know, it's a little bit of a pity. So, sometimes you can glorify God the most just by letting them be bullying bullies. So, they might have very little going in their life for them. And uh, them, all they have to live for might be to take their frustration out on you once in a while. So, uh, sometimes it glorifies God just to let them do it. That guy bullying you might be uh, venting a little frustration. And, uh, you know, you never know. That might keep him from going home and beating his wife or something. Just... You know, he, he lips off to you, and if you'll just take it, I know it's a pride thing, but if he lips off to you or does whatever he does, his little temper tantrum, hissy fit thing, let him do it. It might keep his wife alive. I don't know. You just never know what, what might occur. But um, if he can take it out on you a little bit, maybe he won't take it out on his wife at home or something. So uh, you never know what, what could come of it. Um, hang on a second here. Yeah, um, anyway, so, well, where, where was I? I was, um, let him vent his frustration a little bit, and, uh, if he has to act like a little girl or talk crap or whatever, that's just, you know, it's amazing that some men act like fifth grade girls or five-year-old girls and act like the mean girls in elementary school, but if that's what it takes, let him do it. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I guess it used to bother me more, but it's really not worth it. After you humiliate him... You don't find the joy in humiliating somebody like that. It's just, it's not worth it. Just let them do it. They don't get over it. They fit their frustration on you. You never know what is what is keeping him from doing something stupid at home or something. So, it's a bad reflection on them. It's not a bad reflection on you. It's a bad reflection on their character. It's not a bad reflection on your character. When they start talking crap about you behind your back and they think they're doing you damage, the people they're talking to are actually a lot smarter, smarter than they give them credit for. And they know that uh, you're not the turd, they are. So don't don't let it bother you when they start talking crap. It's a bad reflection on them, and they start driving people away from them, not from you. So a little mini-sermon for today. You have to just try to do everything you can to glorify God, and uh, even in situations like that when you have somebody acting like a five-year-old girl, just you have to hope they get saved, let God deal with it, get out of God's way, God will deal with it, and try your best some way to glorify God in it. And your pride means very, very little in this grand scheme of things. If they end up going to hell, you don't want to look back and know that you're the one that helped send them there. So, that's God's deal. Um, sometimes people just want to be significant. Just Those childish bullies that act like babies, lots of times they just want to be significant. And I don't know. Uh... It's, it's a shame, but sometimes they just want to be significant, and you have to uh, do your best to try to glorify God in it. And just ignore them. And like I say, I'm not perfect, but I get better all the time, and there's always going to be some uh, somebody so insecure they have to try to make them feel better, so, make themselves feel better by trying to insult you. So it's it's not...
that big a deal. It doesn't feel that good to continually humiliate them. And your job is to try to glorify God. So a little mini sermon for today. And uh, preaching to myself as much as anybody. But there will always be those those people that uh, kind of you, you pity more than anything when you realize what they're up to. So we'll try to show you some fun video. And I won't monologue this much all the time. So thanks for watching. This one over here, forward. Good stop. Sit up in your seat. Back up up there a little bit. Back. You listen good, Lemuel. Okay, tip your bucket up. Which one? That one over there, back. Push it down hard. More. Okay, now this one over here, forward. Better down. If you had longer legs, it'd be easier. What? If you had longer legs, it'd be easier. Y'all come back now, dear.